Hello everyone, my name is Targi Konagao and today I will be showing you all how to consistently grip corners on drift tracks. The goal of this video is to hopefully give people something new to do in this great, but otherwise stagnating game, and in the end, create a community around grip racing. Learning to grip drift tracks will not only give you substantially more places to race, but also will allow you to race with more difficult, and in my opinion more satisfying physics to race on. Understandably, this increase in difficulty is why people often try to grip, fail immediately, and never think twice about the idea. After all this is a drifting game and the physics reflect that. However, this tutorial will give you all of the information you need to start your grip racing journey on any track you'd like, without the use of hex tires. To keep this video short and concise, I will break it up into two sections, your control setup and basic driving technique. If this video is received positively, I will consider creating a more in-depth tutorial regarding more advanced driving techniques. So without further delay, let's get started. Let's begin with your control setup. Using smooth inputs is very important when driving at the limit on a drift track, so it goes without saying that buttons are not viable to use for this whatsoever. Once you have selected either slider or tilt controls, you can now start to tune them. While I personally am a slider user, I can say with confidence that these tuning principles apply to both slider and tilt, since the slider is simply mimicking the action of tilting your device. The first thing that I recommend is maxing out your steering sensitivity. This may sound like it causes the opposite of what we want since we are aiming for smoothness, but the reality is that lower sensitivity values simply add delay to your input, making you less connected to your car's actions. This slight delay in response is what may cause you to make sudden corrections in stressful situations and cause you to enter a drift, often putting you seconds behind your opponents even with relatively small drifts. The next change to your control scheme is what will truly make you feel more comfortable and have the most noticeable effect on your driving. The change I am referring to is increasing the size of your slider, or if you use tilt, increasing your tilt angle value. Doing this will give you more precise control over how much steering input you give your car, by increasing the distance between going lock to lock. The area you have in which you can turn without entering a drift will become larger, hence making the car easier to control at the limit of grip. To put it another way, imagine driving in a simulator with a wheel with only 200 degrees of steering rotation. Increasing your slider size or tilt angle value would be like going from a wheel with 200 degrees of rotation, to 900 degrees of rotation. With 900 degrees of rotation, it may take more effort to go from lock to lock, but you can create more smooth and precise inputs. If you are worried about how this will affect your performance while drift driving, I can assure you that while it may feel different at first, you will be able to drift just as well, if not better due to how smooth you will become. Note that there is a limit in terms of how large of a change you should make. Increasing your slider size or tilt angle value too much may make it more difficult for you to regain grip in the event that you do enter a drift, not to mention that too large a value will make your transitions while drifting feel very sluggish. I recommend experimenting until you have good control over your car both when gripping and drifting. The only other recommendation I can make in terms of controls would be that you place the brake pedal in a way that you can quickly access it. Most people have the brake pedal left of the gas pedal, but it may feel beneficial to put it above the gas instead if you aren't against always having your pointer finger hovering above it. This concludes the control setup segment of the video, now it's time to go over basic driving techniques. The most basic driving technique to learn is also the most important when it comes to gripping drift tracks, and that technique is braking. 
Braking is the most important element of gripping a drift track, since there are no understeer physics, having too high of a corner entry speed will lead to instant disappointment and a busted rear end. Keep this one simple rule in mind, if you keep slipping and don't know why, you are not braking enough. People tend to not only brake too late, but also don't hold down the brakes long enough in the corner. If you find yourself tapping and feathering the throttle on the exit of corners, it's probably because you didn't hold the brakes for long enough, and as a result are afraid of slipping if you hold down the gas. One important thing to remember, is that the brakes don't just slow you down, but they also give you a sharper turning radius without added steering input. To summarize, braking longer will slow you down, reducing your chances of slipping. It will turn the car in while will requiring no added steering from you, which will reduce your chances of slipping. And will put you at a speed where you can hold down the throttle on exit with no worries. Exit speeds are very important, since pushing your entry speeds can often lead to slips, and slips can often cost you seconds. On some tracks such as NKC Normal and Gunside Drift, you may find yourself coming across corners that are not sharp enough to require loads of braking. While braking heavily may be the safest way, it will often cost you precious momentum, and cause others to possibly hit you from behind by mistake. On corners like those, you want to coast into them, and occasionally tap the brakes if you feel that you are at the limit of grip, and feel like you need to turn more to make the corner. In conclusion, the fastest way around the track is the way that requires the least hesitation. The less you have to tap the gas on corner exit and tap the brake mid-corner, the more you can dive into corners at the edge of grip and bolt out of them with full acceleration. If you are wondering why more wasn't said on the topic of steering, it is because steering is very feel-based, and you simply want to try to steer as smoothly as possible. There are advanced steering techniques you can use for specific situations and for specific lines, but those will be saved for the advanced tutorial, seeing as they are not absolutely necessary for having a good time grip racing. If you want to learn how to push those front tires to the absolute limit, and keep cool under pressure, then please subscribe and turn on notifications, as well as share this video with your friends. If you would like to meet and talk with fellow grip drivers, then feel free to join my Discord server, the Next Generation Street Racing Syndicate, link will be in the description. I hope this video could help you and others. Thank you for watching, see you all next time.